Hi, I'm Andrea Lanusi and welcome to this preview video about FireMonkey. This preview shows a Delphi Exit application using the FireMonkey platform on Windows, Mac, and iOS. Let's take a look and see how it works. I have my Delphi X Z2 IDE on the screen running on a Windows 7 64 bits and a virtual machine. As you can see, I have here a FireMonkey HD application with some controls. I have two images and one of these images has a bitmap animation. I'm going to use a transition between one image and another and I define the images I want to use as part of this transition on the start and stop value on my object inspector. Also, you can see here some 3D components where I have the viewport 3D, which allows to use 3D elements and as well add a 2D elements on my application. You can see that my image here is inside a layer, layer 3D, and if I wanna, I can change the rotation angle of this of this layer. So just come here and change it. So it's pretty easy, pretty smooth. If you wanna, you can just go back here on your object inspector and get back to the position you wanna instead to use the designer. It's up to you. I also have another image control here on the bottom and this image control is inside another 3D layer. Let's take a look and see how this application works. I'm gonna run a 64-bit Windows. When I start the application, you see that the bitmap and animation is already in action. And when I click the button, start button, you see all of the controls moving the screen from top to bottom, from right to left. And also you see the Delphi icon here rotating from left to right. When you look at the code for the start button, you see that I have animations for all of the controls. In this case here, I have the animations for the image one and FireMonkey, what FireMonkey is doing here, I'm sending instructions to FireMonkey to animate some of the properties for these components. I'm animating the position Y, the position X, Z, rotation angle, and so on. So I have the animations for the second component here for the second image component, animations for the layer 3D, and animation for the first layer 3D as well. So you see all of the instructions you send and FireMonk just execute that. In case you want to run this application as 32 bits, you just need to change your target platform for 32 bit and run the application. You're going to see that the same behavior you have for 64 is the same on 32 bit windows. You see the animations, the bitmap animation as well. You see everything happen the same as 64 bits. Now, let's say you want to run this application on Mac. You just have to change your target platform to Mac. Tell the IDE where is your Mac system. In this case, I'm using my IP address. And run the application. At the moment to run the application, Delphi is compiled and prepare the application for deployment on Mac. I have here on Mac the platform assistant running. And at the moment Delphi deployed the application, you see here my uh, FireMonk HD application on Mac. It's the same look and feel. The bitmap animation is in action right now. And uh, when I click the start button, you see all of the animations happening in the same way I show you on Windows 64 bits. So now that you saw the application on Mac, let's take a look and see how this application run on iOS. For iOS, you have to create a specific iOS HD project in Delphi. So I have this project here, and I'm going to show you the form for iOS. You're going to see that the, uh, it looks like an iPad application. I'm going to run this application on iPad Simulator. I'm using the same components, the same animation, and also I have the same code to execute the animations. In order to run this project on iOS, I just have to export the Delphi project to Xcode. I integrated the command line here on my IDE and I have the option here, export to Xcode. When I come here on Mac, I have the project for iOS. I just have to open this project. You're gonna see that this project is referencing the form in my project file. I just select the iPad simulator and run the application. 
As you can see, I have my iOS simulator, the same screen we had for Mac, for Windows, but now I'm running this application on iOS simulator for, uh, in this case, iPad, iPad simulator. I just click start, you see all of the animations happening in the same way we did for the other OS as well. That's it. I hope you enjoyed this short introduction to FireMonkey. If you want to learn more and see a deep dive demonstration about all of the great stuff coming on Red Studio XZ2, register today for the World Tour. The World Tour is coming to a lot of cities around the world and you can have the opportunity to see live all of the great stuff coming on this release. Thanks for watching this video and see you on the Red Studio XZ World Tour.